Look how easy it is to connect this wireless system to the Zoom F3. Just this. <laughs> oh, and this thing, let me show you. This is a pad from Small Rig. I bought this with my own money. I received it yesterday. And tomorrow it will be the first time when I have the opportunity to test this on an actual job. It's a pad that helps us to feel comfortable when we shoot handheld and hold the camera for an entire day against our body. This looks so nice, feels so good. You know, I can shoot an entire day like this with this pad, you know. You can put it like this, like this. It's so comfortable, so nice. This is soft, see? This is soft and nice. I like to try new things, to test new things. Yeah, this looks very nice. Tomorrow I will shoot this documentary after movie for a friend of mine who is a big, huge entrepreneur and he has a booth inside of a conference, uh, a booth about his business with Metaverse and a conference is organized by the biggest real estate website in Romania, things like this. And I think it's super cool to show you how do I prepare for a documentary after movie kind of shoot. This is the bag that I use for my rig. I bought this one from a Romanian store, I will put a link in the description. I don't like to break my rig apart every time I have a shoot, so I like to have the entire rig as it is in the bag, except the side handle, I will remove the side handle because it doesn't fit in the bag. But it's easy, fast, I go to the shoot, I just open the bag, take the rig off the bag, that's it, I can shoot directly, super fast super comfortable. And my laptop, other batteries, other lens, my wireless systems are in this small trolley. Just this, two bags, compact, everything is safe, secure and compact, ready to use. If we talk about the sound, sound is so important for a documentary. It's so important. Sometimes just few words can change your entire movie, can make this movie interesting. Captivating, you know, this is, is so important. I use my 32 bit float recorder. Uh, why? Because when I am at a conference, as an example, if I have my gain uh, set correctly for the speaker, sometimes the, the crowd can go crazy and I don't want to have a clip there. I want to have a clean audio because those kinds of moments are super important, super important when the crowd is going crazy or someone will come fast and say something to the camera like, hey, hello, that's a good moment for a documentary. So take care of your sound. This is why I prefer to have this shotgun mic on my rig and the 32 bit flow recorder. And if, if I have to take something like a short interview or a testimonial, I will use this wireless system from Sennheiser. I will, I will put the link in the description. I don't know the name of this wireless system, but I'll put the link, uh, link in the description. It is so small, easy to use. You saw that, just plug it here and that's it. You know, it's so good, so nice. I have my Sony wireless system, which is with radio frequency, but I use that system just when I need a long distance. When I took something like a short interview, I just use this thing, it's small, clean sound, Sennheiser, good brand, good sound, everything, it's okay. So take care of your sound. You can do a lot of things in post-production if you have good sound. On a documentary, after movie, the sound is so important if you learn how to use the sound correctly. So take care of the sound. Tomorrow I will try to use this to shoot something for you behind the scenes to show you how I do things, how I shoot a documentary. The problem is this, most of the time when I try to do this, when people saw me with a GoPro here, they are like, oh, a hidden camera. Oh, he's, he's shooting us. Oh, he's, you know, and I can't scare the participants at the conference. Most of the time, this is what's happening, but I will try to shoot something to show you in the next video to show you how I do things. I will try to do this. Let's hope it will be okay, <laughs> but it's, strange, it's scary for the participants to see me with this, I don't know, it's... When they see me with this rig, they're like, okay, okay, he's shooting, but, but 
when they see this, it's like, oh, hidden camera, oh, oh, oh. They become scared about this. I don't want this, but I will try, okay? I will try to have behind the scenes. Yeah, this is a big problem. I don't have someone to film me when I film things to show you, but I will try this time. I will try. Let's hope. Now, let's go to the lenses. I, most of the time, I use two lenses. This 16 to 35 millimeters and this 24 to 70 G Master F 2.8, both of them. Those lenses are amazing. Most of the time, I don't need something like 200 millimeters or things like this. It's enough for me when I, if I'm at a conference, as an example, as I will be tomorrow, if I want to show the big crowd, I will use the 16 millimeters to have a wide angle. And if I want to shoot the speaker on the stage, I will use 24 to 70 millimeters. This is enough for from 16 to 70 millimeters. It is enough to capture everything that I want for a, an after movie, a documentary, something like this, behind the scenes, other kind of movies. Yes, yes if I am outside, Sometimes I need a longer lens, like 200 millimeters, 70 to 200. That's okay, but for inside jobs, I will use the, the, just these two lenses, 16 to 35, 24 to 70, most of the time 24 to, to 70 millimeters. Those are my favorite lenses, and I can do many things with these two lenses. And I also have a Nisi True Color ND filters on both of them. This is my charging station, a ton of batteries. I charge everything a day before the shooting. I will not charge the batteries overnight and pack everything in the morning because in the morning I'm sleepy and I will forget something. So I charge everything a day before the shooting. When I go to bed, I have everything packed up and in the morning I just grab the bags and go. I don't like to pack everything in the morning. For sure, I will forget something and I don't like that. This is my advice to you when you go to sleep. Everything should be prepared. If you are about to have your first job, first documentary, first after movie, and you're nervous about it, do this. Call the organizer in front of the shoot and ask them how is the room. Ask about pictures. I need to see the room. Most of the time, if you are in a hotel kind of conference room, you will be in a low light situation there. So ask how is the space, how your, your set will look like. It is a low light situation. It is big. It is small space. It will be crowded. It's so big that will look, you know, like the crowd will look small. Uh, it's a small space and it will look so crowded and claustrophobic. You need to know about this kind of things and be prepared. Always be prepared for a low light situation or with ND filters for a lot of light if you shoot outside. Ask about these kind of things. This is important. You need to know where you're gonna shoot, where you're gonna be, what is the space, how it looks like. This is important. This will help you to choose the right gear, the right lenses, the everything, the right sound setup, and you will be relaxed and you will be in charge, you know, you will be okay with the situation because you are prepared, you know where you're gonna be and what you're gonna shoot. This is important. Today, with one day in front of the shooting, I always empty my SD cards, all of them, <laughs> back up everything and have everything clean and formatted. This is important. You don't want to be on the field and say, oh, my SD is full. Oh my God, I need half an hour to back up this. You don't want to be in that situation. So with a day in front of the shoot, back up everything, have everything clean. And I suggest to bring with you one, two terabytes SSD, fast SSD hard drives to back up everything on the field if this is necessary. I always have with me this hard drive. This is a T7 from Samsung, it's fast. And I have with me empty, again, check this to be empty when you're about to shoot something because sometimes you need to back up things. Okay, I shoot like 4K, uh, 
60 uh, frames per second, 10 bits. I need I, I need a lot of space. So have with you something like one backup hard drive, always. This is important. My advice to you, if you are about to have your first job, don't bring with you too much gear, okay? Don't bring with you everything. You don't need it, you're not gonna use it. Sound, good lenses, batteries, and storage. And you're good to go. You can make a super good documentary. I hope I can shoot something and come back in the next video with shots, with behind the scenes, about what I will do tomorrow. I really hope that, hope I can do that and show you how I do things on a field as behind the scenes, you know? And if you want to learn more about my camera rig, I will just put a big, big video right now on the screen. Just need to click and enjoy. See you in the next one.